Welcome back to Dawn Guard. When we last left off, Saran and I sure found this fake bookcase and she decided to sit down. We gotta go. No, no sitsies. Come on. But that is realistic of you to sit down when I just start standing up, standing around like an idiot. That happens a lot. There's nothing over here worth investigating. There's another door. <gasps> of course, it's on the floor. Am I supposed to stand here? That seems an awkward place for a marker. Look at this place. This has to be it. Yeah. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Really? Please go on. Please elaborate more. I would like to know more. Please. This person is busy. She's just admiring the view. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? What's what thing? The thing in the middle? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Obviously. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Did your mother keep gargoyles here? Not that I ever saw. Good. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She's a mad scientist. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Or a mad alchemist. What did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. <laughs> Let's go. I remember she used to keep this small See if you can dig it up. Do I really need to dig it up or am I just looking for it? You should be more clear about that. Oops. Oh wow. That's a lot of soul gems. I will take those. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. She is a buttload of soul gems. Those are useful. I know that much. I can charge up Wuthrod and all my armors. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna get so powerful. No. I didn't mean to do it. No, definitely favorite. Charge. Common soldier. I really... Really? I can't use the black soul gems on those? I don't even... Of course, I don't actually remember what those are for. Oh, why did I drink poison? Uh, I was just trying to get rid of equipment, and I'm not even un unencumbered. Sleeping tree sap. I don't think I want to drink that after I drunk poison. Do you want to poison the Luthrod? Yeah. I'm assuming it doesn't mean I'm poisoned by holding it. I mean that it is poisoning the enemies. That's what I'm assuming it means. Pearl, I don't need it. Dragon's tongue. Your mother was mad. Was that a saber eye? Sheesh. Talk about crazy. And I'm still feeling the effects of that poison. I'm an idiot for taking that. Okay, I think it's starting it's starting to wear off. It's gone. Fill portal vessel. What do I fill it with? Would it be in here or would it be... Oh, bookshelf. The Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 2. Sounds sexy. The True Nature of Orcs. Forge Ham... The Dowry. Herbane's Beast Jerry. Pirate King of the Bacon. I'll just take that for later. <laughs> no. There, we should be good now. I didn't take any poison or anything. Is 
There we go. I found it. Harkin's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolishness would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to say his to, he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul carn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something sufficient potency that can resist... The force is trying to prevent my intrusion. Commus communing with the ideal masters has proven worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance. Whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not, I if I'm to escape, <coughs> if I'm to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here forever, if need be. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered. How to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below with pro without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining in my own, I'm combining my own blood into the formula which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul car. The following form, the formula consists of finely ground bone meat, br <clears throat> I can't talk today. Finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, soul gem shards, using the proper measurements, place the, Place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive a agent. I will make my way into the soul car tomorrow after I gather my thanks to potentially for a more lengthy and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. The plot thickens. Any luck yet? Found it. Look. You did? Let me see them. What, what's this soul carn that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Why did she care where used souls went? Yeah, they're used. Nobody, nobody wants used souls. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified... I believe I just read that. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this. You have her blood. Us. Yeah. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. I thought of it before my guy did. Are all of those ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. All right. Good, I don't need to go exploring outside to find them. I need... What do I need exactly? Stop loading. Stop... Okay. Good, good. Okay. I need purified void salts, finely ground bone meal. Let's start the looking. The looking and the searching. I'll take that potion, by the way. Fire salts. Would that be what I need? No, it didn't give me the thing. It didn't give me the thumbs up. I'm not seeing anything yet. Chicken's egg, bowl. There's other salts. Void salts. What kind of salts did I need? Purified void salts. There's frost salt pile. Purified void salts. There we go. Where's the other now? Did I gather both of them? No, I need the bone meal. 
It's probably in another one of those big ones like the salts just were. Wow, that's a big one. I'll take that. I expected that halfway. I, I half expected that. Let's take the cure disease and the brief invisible. I don't need that. Okay, we're good. I'll take that gold. And... Chest? There's just gold. Don't need that. There's a bone meal. Alright. Good job. Good job, me. Alright, that's where we're going to the part. When we come back next time, we're going to put everything in there and see what happens. Should be some madness. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.